I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take your soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all wanna ride. All this energy around me, I feel so alive. This must be the vibe, this must be the vibe. This must be the vibe, cause I feel so alive. I don't know their names, but they all wanna ride. All this energy around me, I feel so alive. This must be the vibe, this must be the vibe. This must be the vibe, cause I feel so alive. I got a fresh cut in the denim. Sexy jeans in my section And if a nigga wanna run up Boy get done up by the contestant Damn, slide into your DMs In the PM, in the AM Then I slide into your feelings Hi guys, this is Randoggy And I'll show you how to play Zeal in the newest patch uh, Here are the Arcanas, the runes And the uh, item build Zeal is I would say pretty consistent Jungle in this patch It's not OP but he's not weak either I think he's like almost S tier like upper A tier in my opinion and I will show you how to perform well with Zeal in your games so I am you can see I hit two camps with my S1 so I can have my passive fully maximized and okay I'm think I'm thinking about joining them but they're too far so I'm just looking at them and seeing if I will have an opportunity to join them. No one is in, in the mid lane so I will clear the wave. Honestly this one, I don't know. I, uh, this this is a pre pretty big mistake. If I don't have the enhanced restore, I would die for sure. That's a bad move for me. So we lost quite a bit of X of HP and we slow our jungle clear time, but it's fine because they pressure the en enemy jungler as well. So I think it's it's kind of fine, but yeah, losing HP in the early game is not good. So I am looking for an opportunity to gank the Volcat. So, but the Volcat knows that I finish on the I will I finish on the red side because maybe he saw me clearing the blue because I I came from the left side. So no point in ganking the Volcat at this time. Getting the Spirit Sentinel because Spirit Sentinel is much better than the Dragon. And here the Volcat is very overextended. So. But the Wonder Woman stole the kill, so and it doesn't matter. At least we got the kill. And we use the Enhanced res Restore. I love this rune because it helps heroes such as Zeal. Because Zeal in the early game doesn't have much sustain, like Nakrat. Because Nakrat has like 16 ribs in the Arcana set, so. And I'm looking for, for an opportunity, but it seems that the Arrow, the arrow and my team have already cleared the dragon, which is good. Clean up crew, but... <laughs> Uh, I only got an oh I got a kill on the review which is nice so our team is getting collapsed by the enemies I'm just trying to poke them and OT on the Volcat and the Zeal reset my passive but I, will, I need to go out immediately because I'm low on health but it seems that the Thorn get a kill on the Amigui which is great. Maximizing the passive in the Zeal is very important. This is very low but <laughs> I'm so greedy. I, I, want, I want to get the camps. I want to get as much gold as possible. I should have recalled back to the base at this point but yeah. But with the... But I have like 3 devour devourers on my arcana so I have a bit of life still so I can, you can see I can sustain quite a bit and also I got sitting camps for give, 
for extra HP healing. The Volcat, uh, yeah, Volcat so man, she ran away. Clearing the mid wave always important, especially when the mid gainer is not. Oh, uh, this is a very bad move for me again. At least we have we escape, but we shouldn't dive there. I thought it's the reveal and the zig only, but there's the ormar so yeah. And I tried to help them, but there's nothing much I can do. The army is in the ultimate, so we need we need to poke and not go near too much because the army will just rush and kill us. Oh, this, this boy cut is very greedy. You can see, guys. He ult he ult me, but <laughs> I ulted him as well. And the ult and he didn't use the second part of his ultimate, which will give him immunity to damage and CC. So we finish him off. Maybe it's because of the silence in the ultimate. <laughs> I, I I'm going to recall, but the <laughs> blue buffs one, and I was like, no, I'm taking this for sure. Now we got it, and I'm recalling like. Okay, now, now I have a peace of mind because I'm, I'm quite worried that the Amiri might invade my blue buff because the Amiri is full HP as you can see in the last fight and I'm like low because if the Amiri invades the blue buff, there's no way we can contest that because I don't have any HP to fight. Clearing the jungle as always, very important. Don't go too much, don't, don't focus too much on the kills guys. Just focus on farming as much as possible. Get as many kills at, as you can, but don't skip farming. Farming is very important. And I'm clicking on the ultimate because the I'm, I think the Volcat will dash to me, but he hid in the bush. I ulted the Volcat, but he used the second part of his ultimate, and he's now immune to damage, so there's no point chasing him off. And especially the Amig is in there. So I'm just clearing the wave because no one is here. Maximize the passive. Now I'm buying Hikates Diadem. I'm trying to make a move on the reveal but it seems that the Ormar saw me and is trying to scout. Now this is a very bad move. You can see I am not, I don't have that much of an internet problem as of now but my phone cannot handle recording too much because my phone is just can be a cheap model right now and cannot handle AOV anymore. You, you can say I'm 70 ms but it feels so heavy. Like yes, I'm I'm tapping my ultimate but I cannot target the armor for some reason. I don't know why. I should have gotten a kill the, on the armor and the give at that moment. But there's no nothing I can do. The Amigi is going on the mid wave so we need to go there asap and the collapse in ultimate with the silence and easy that's how you get kills with zero you use your you use your ultimate to activate the passive then kill the enemy then go in or go go out in that case i go out because i'm under the tower of course oh, we killed the volcat as well very nice and we, we can push this mid tower for sure but I think I'm looking for a, an opportunity to flank on the Gavig or the Seal but it seems that they are playing safe right now and they are just poking I'm trying to tease the ultimate but the Seal is barely out of range so we need to go back and I'm just poking at the cannon wave so I can clear it as much as possible don't let the mid tower get pushed that's the most important because if the mid tower gets pushed, the, the opponents will have lots of opportunities and will have a lot of space to invade the jungle. So I am staying in the mid as much as possible. I am trying to gank the Gavir but the Ormar saw me but like, I was like, I can do this. Oh, the Gavir hit the, the ultimate on me but he underestimate my abilities then I poke him, reverse him and easy. The reveal goes down. Calculated, guys. Calculated. Seems uh, my team is kind of doing well as well. They killed the Amiri and the uh, Ormar and the Volcat. Wow. 
But Ami is kind of hot, so we need to be careful. Oh. You you can see I'm I'm having FPS drops I think, but my ping is like low. It's like 70, 80 ms because I'm using VPN. But you can see the the phone cannot handle the recording that much. As as you can see on my latest live stream, I I only stream for two games because you know my phone <laughs> is. Like spiking like crazy, so I have to stop the stream immediately. So I'm clearing the wave. I can see the Thorn and the Gavig are engaging, but the or there's the Ormar and the Zeal, and there's not, not much that I can do. I tried to gank the Zeal to burst him down, but it's, I don't have that much damage. I don't do enough damage, maybe because the Zeal has the Reyes. Oh god! <laughs> Um, no, God, please, no! And yeah, I tried to run. My teammate Cryogen tried to block the way using no! the Ishar ultimate. Uh, very sad time. So I fast forward. Ah, uh, that's very greedy thing on my side. It's a very bad move. I shouldn't. I've dived the Gavig down. But I thought the the Gavig is the only one there, but uh, <laughs> I went to go anyway. So we're taking the dragon. I think it would, this is the first time I particip participated in a dragon because for me dragon is not that Im important. When you have tournaments or stream 5v5, that's very important. But when you're like Solo queue, duo queue, trio queue, it's not that important unless it's for free and you don't have anything to do then take dragon but if you have any objectives left to do uh, I suggest just taking objectives like tower, sentinel, waves etc because dragon is very nerf right now it's not that strong like before it doesn't give too much bonuses on your team so the arm ultimate and the volcat that's very nice we burst the volcat very nice we're looking for an opportunity to dive. I see, I see the enemy zeal. And burst him down, of course. Because we have we are so fed right now. We have like 14 out of 18 kill participations. That's very high for me. That's nice. It's not that high, but it's pretty high. It's like it's fine. Uh, we're getting collapsed but we use the S2 to jump out. We're poking the wave so they don't deal too much damage in the tower but the Amelie, the Amelie activated her ultimate and we need to dash out again. Poking the cannon wave so it doesn't, so it won't po poke the tower. And I see they're pretty overextended so I try to jump, burst down the reveal. Uh, I cannot uh, target the Amelie because for some reason uh, I, I shouldn't have worked put my attack option settings for the nearest i should have, i should have put, put it for the least hp uh, you can see their fps drop uh, uh, no the zeal poke man there's no reason for me to engage because i have two stocks and the zeal can jump on me silence me burst me and jump out again so we're trying to clear the wave with the team We're taking the boob, <laughs> but my teammate Cryogen takes it. Oh, we, we use the ultimate on Dagaville, activate the passive, activate the passive, and jump out. Oh. Now we we need to, we use the Arctic Orb to be safe from the Amelie. <laughs> we run, run, and we activate the passive again and burst down the Amelie. Calculated, guys, calculated. Oh, the Thorn get a kill on the Gavil, and we get a kill on the Ormar as well. The Thorn get a double kill, which is very nice. We are 9, 1, and 10. We are like 19 out of 24 kill participation. That is kinda high for me, in my opinion, because I have games that I have like 30 out of 32 kill participation, so it's not that high for me, but it's pretty high. This game we can, this moment we can end, but I, I got to read. I should have waited the Zeal to ultimate my team, then I ultimate him in the turn, but uh, I thought I, I can end at this point, but yeah. The Volcat and the Zeal 
defended the, their base pretty well and they buy time for the army to respawn. Oh, very sad times. <laughs> ah, the greed. So the arrow tanking damage. I think there's no point for the Aram to run at this point because the Gavig and the Armor will just fight him into oblivion and he will die anyway. So I accept his opinion on trying to fight him, but there's no way he can win that fight because he will get kited until he die. Ah, yeah. He's close to dying, I guess. Yeah, he dies. Invade the enemy red buff and take the wave. Wave control very important, guys. Okay, we just poke the zero and we jump out immediately because we don't see the Amiri and you can see the Amiri is on the top side right now. So there's no point of being ready there. Mistakes were made. We need to learn, guys. So the Wonder Woman is getting collapsed, but we are fighting pretty good we we burst down the gavir that's nice aiming for the backline very important as an assassin the zeal try to burst us but we jump out because we have already three stacks you can see there the volcat is trying to make a move on us we poke him ultimate activate the arctic orb press ultimate s1 sirens easy we g he got jebated there pretty hard, in my opinion. Calculated for me, jebated for him. And now we have Rhea, so there's no point in going back because we have like lots of li life still right now, like 20-25%. Twenty, yeah, uh, FPS drop. You can see I'm if I I don't have I I don't lag at that point. You can see it's kind of heavy. I, I can press ultimate and just die immediately. So now you can see the Torn is trying to to contest the Abyssal Dragon, the Enrage. Enrage is very important because all of you will get a buff and you can get the Dark Blessing which is very good on Marksman and Jungle. So I take the Dark Blessing, I jump on the Gavir, S1, S2, ultimate, burst him out, we poke the Ormar, we miss the S2, uh, and we miss the S1 because uh, the FPS drop is too, is too real guys. We use the S1 on the Volcat, auto attack, activate the passive on the Ormar because he has stuck already, and the Am Amiri is the only one left but he has Resurrect and we burst him with the ultimate and Wow, we got 15 to 10. We have 25 out of 33 kill participation. That is very high. And I think we can end our game right now. Gazil is trying to hold. We use the punish to slow him. The, uh, the Harum oats Gazil. And we can finish at this point. So guys, I hope you learned something in this video. How to play Zil. So... Yeah, we we end this we end this we got 15 2 and 10 guys. Very awesome. I haven't played AOV for 2 months. I, so I am happy that I can still play at 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 this level and we have almost 30% damage. That's very nice. We got a triple kill. So I have I hope you guys learned something in this video. So till next time. Bye bye.